Camry Pace car here yesterday for my NASCAR Goes West Now drive. define that because you, you might not want to say that if you did that illegally. Did they encourage you to commandeer it? I, I didn't ask. I just <laughs> saw it. And it. It was sleek and fun looking. And I'm like, I know it's NASCAR Goes West uh, presented by Toyota Racing. So I just hopped behind the wheel and took off. Drove down a TV station in downtown Phoenix, did an interview and drove back. Good. Yeah, just the peers watching Matt Tifton this night. Ryan Sieg also jumped inside the top 10. 27.60 for the driver out of Tucker, Georgia. Justin Dillon, who's still at the top, he only ran one lap. How about a shout out to Ryan Sieg in that 39 car in the top five early in this session. Yeah, in his opening lap, he was like eighth, but that second lap got him, as you said, up to fourth. We look at lap as 11. See Ryan Sieg on the board. He finds himself, Sadler, I should say, is ninth. Ryan Sieg down in 12th for a win and racing for $100,000. Yeah, Ryan Sieg, that $100,000 will just make their cars fast. Got a crash into Austin this year. No cost, the will be out, though. Uh, hold the brake, hold the brake. Uh, you okay? Dylan went around, collected Ryan Sieg. Austin had restarted in the fifth position, was sixth when he went around. And look who's raced themselves into position. Talk about 100 grand. William Byron grabbed fourth away from Sadler. Well, and as we saw, he's into the side of Dillon. And unfortunately for Ryan Sieg. When they get loose in or they, you know, you get on a splitter and you just can't get the thing to turn or you don't want to turn the thing because you feel like it might spin out. And unfortunately, Austin was right there. A hard hit, but. You know, sucks. Uh, the Reem Chevy was pretty solid all day. We decided to take 